India's biggest marketing show is back. Thank you. Thank you. All starts with the name. Oh my God! I don't know. It's your attitude. Candid conversations. Check. New star-studded lineup. Check. Loads of fun and surprises. Double check. So get ready to be inspired, entertained, and blown away. Because my friends, this is the grand return of Kiska Brand Bajega. Namaste and welcome to India's biggest marketing show, Kiska Brand Bajega. Here we talk to mega celebrities who have evolved into powerhouse brands and are dominating the scene with their marketing brilliance. A small town guy from Bihar hitting the big screen with a bang and owning it for 30 long years. That's our guest for today's episode. An absolute legend from the film industry who has won three national awards and a ton of Indian and international awards for his extraordinary acting skills. Along with films, he's also the boss of OTT, who has headlined every major platform like it's a cakewalk. And if you watch Satya, you know he's been redefining the game since then. But wait, there's more to him than just the spotlight. He's also a family man who's been navigating the glitz with grounded grace. An actor par excellence, a true goat in the industry. Please join me in welcoming the one and only maestro of versatility, Padmashri Manoj Bajpai. How are you doing, sir? Very good. Manoj, pleasure. Welcome to Kiska Brand Bajega. Please have a seat. Manoj, you started your career with a one-minute role in the movie Dhrokal, if my memory is correct, in 1994. Right. Then Bandit Queen happened, which was your debut feature film. Since then, Manoj, you've worked in over 70 films and more than 10 TV and OTT shows. Looking back, what do you have to say about your extraordinary journey? It's going to be my 100th film, actually. 100th in, film? In a few months. I'm keeping it as a surprise. How was the journey? Uh, not like a superstar. Okay. <laughs> It was, it has always been a roller coaster ride for me, trying to make your own place uh, with the things that I wanted to do was very hard to come by. It has always been very difficult. It is, it has not been so easy. I'm very lucky that I'm still working. And I'm very lucky and fortunate that I'm still relevant. Well, okay, Modesty is your middle name and I'm going to come to your OTT journey. Born and brought up in Bihar, moved to Delhi for college, faced four rejections from NCT. When did the acting bug actually bite you? Were there any moments that you wanted to give up? And also, Manoj, I wanted to understand, was there any plan B if acting wouldn't have worked out? This whole thing about being uh, having a plan B was always an alien thing to me. Really? Okay. <laughs> Still is. Okay. I don't believe in having a plan B. Okay. Not at all. And I'm, when I'm saying this, please believe me because... No, I'm sure. I have gone through hell. And, and came out. I also feel that if you're having a plan B, then you are not going to give 200% to plan A. Okay. Manoj, this year you're completing 30 years in Indian cinema. From Bandit Queen to Joram. Your journey has been defined by consistent delivery of power-packed performances. But Bhikkhu Matre from Satya, that's the character etched in everyone's memory. Could you tell us the kind of research that went into crafting the persona of Bhikkhu Matre, the gangster. My journey has been from the lowest of the low. My experience is very vast. I don't need to go to a chol to understand how the people of the chol are living, right? Sure. To research, I don't do. Imagination, yes, definitely I use. Most of the characters that I have played based on a little bit from my experience and most of it from my own imagination. I try to give a new kind of interpretation to all the characters that I do. With a track record of movies like Satya, Pinjar, Shul, Ax, Aligarh, Special Chabbis and even Gangs of Vasepur, your film choices have been both critically acclaimed and commercially successful. When it comes to selecting a role, what factors hold the most significance for you? Just, you know, something, something that script or that role does to you. You know that this is it. You instinct? Know, instinct. It's purely instinct, I would say. But also it has to be very well written. Okay. If it is badly written, you know, nobody can save it. Sure. Even a good performance or good direction can't save it. All good scripts, after 
two sins or three sins at you know at the most they start doing something to you but now it's up to you then you choose something uh, which is very unique and that is where you know a, f- a series like killer soup i picked up i said this is the world people have not seen so let's go ahead and do this uh, because it is also challenging and it's new lovely you said in an interview recently that your film jorum got sidelined by the box office tsunami of animal do you think the audiences want to see only the big budget movies in the theaters uh, let me first clarify this jorum's release was you know very uh, on a very limited screen. sure 150 screens we wanted to just give it a symbolic release in theater so that it can come on ott i mean the ott is was always a natural choice this film itself has been lauded everywhere all over the world it has gone to all the big biggest of the festivals and it is a great film and and after you know few years uh, the, if there will be 10 films i'll be known for joram will be one of them but do you feel that with the advent of ott do you believe that there is a formula now to the films because about 5 7 8 years ago ott was not that huge right yeah. you've spent so much of time and you're uh, in the industry today so any any to the young filmmakers out there right who want to still do feature films what is your advice for them all i would say go ahead and make a underdog story okay it will always be a super hit give me one example where one underdog story never never succeeded it always succeeded you just have to make it smartly i think that's the story you know which has 200% isi mark okay <laughs> great let's talk about awards you've received the prestigious padma shri three national awards along with many film fair and even international awards but some artists refuse to attend award shows thinking they are not credible anymore what is your take on the awards do you feel that awards go to those who make an appearance i have never given that much of an importance okay. to an award unless it is really um, increasing my remuneration <laughs> or right. it is it is getting me a few more films few more offers and sadly in our country uh, no award has has been doing it yeah okay it's just yeah. an one night affair okay i go there i definitely go there i'll always go there to any function where they are willing to felicitate me honor me and respect me for the work that i do or i have done with projects like family man gulmor and killer soup on streaming platforms do you see ott as a more secure option considering the absence of box office pressure and the ability to have greater control on the narrative what's your perspective on the shift oh yes you are right there's more meat to it you know you, you can be indulgent with your performance sure. and also you are very right that you if you're doing a film for theater the pressure is too much because there is box office in our country uh, no matter how bad or mediocre a film is uh, eventually they always attach success with the box office numbers yes even if it is a mediocre film and it has made 600 crores nobody gives a damn whether it was a good film or a bad film yeah. they they think it's a successful film so uh, the actors attached with it or director who's directed it or the producer who's produced it for them the pressure is too much on ott it doesn't matter how many views how many people have gone ahead and watched it it really doesn't matter cinema people say that is a medium of entertainment but cinema is also medium of an art uh, in the 70s we were making good you know very emotionally powerful mainstream stories but yeah we are not now because now we are making projects hum kahani nahi keh rahe aur mera manna hai ki mainstream bahut kamal ka genre hai kahani kehne ke liye You've conquered television, ruled the big screen, and then boom, Family Man happened on OTT, and the response was clearly insane. How has brand Manoj Bajpai evolved post Family Man? We needed a very uh, unique kind of a story, which was talking about us. And Shikant Tiwari is us. You know, his problems are our problems. Right. Okay. Right. It's everybody's problem, and that is why people related with him. so my instinct was very strong about family man when i heard the synopsis from rajan dk i said yes i'm doing it you're the man of masses given your choice of roles over the years and it's evident in the brands that you've endorsed like mahindra krishi rupik and housing.com do you feel premium brands shy away from approaching you due to your grounded and relatable image in contrast to the aspirational aspect which is often associated with premium brands 
is being relatable, Manoj, more of an advantage or a disadvantage when it comes to brand deals? I'm quite okay with it. Right. Actually, I'm very proud of it. Okay. Okay. Okay is a very understatement. This is what I am. I'm an actor, but I'm a common man. I come from a lower middle class family. So there's, I, there's never been aspiration okay. to wear a certain kind of... I'm not going to name any one yeah, of yeah. them. Uh, but I'm not going to buy a brand at the cost of my own saving. I'm not that aspirational idiot. Okay? That's complete foolishness. Sure. That you are going to spend 2 lakhs rupees on a bag and you are aspiring for it, then you are a foolish. Yes. You are an idiot. I'm interested in buying something which is as good as a premium brand, but it comes cheaper to me. So you're really talking about the majority of Indians. But that's what I am. Absolutely. I'm one of them. Sure. Have I ever claimed that I'm, uh, I'm, I belong to that 1% of the population? No, I don't. As you classify the market, are you thus in the competing category of actors who you believe are similar to what let's say, the kind of roles or the films that you do, who are contenders for the same brand? If you ask me uh, who can be, I think uh, it will be uh, Sis Salman, whose perception is that he's a, yeah. you know, he's, he's bhai. Bhai, yeah. Uh, from the masses. The masses from the masses. masses. Or say Ajay, for that matter. Yes. Uh, from theatre, I would say, uh, say Nawaz. You know, he also comes from a small town. Pankaj, uh, he's loved by the audience on OTT. One last question on brands. You know, there are a lot of actors who, who, who have do's and don'ts of what kind of products that they should endorse, right? Uh, there is a gaming app that you've endorsed, which is, let's say, a betting app. Um, are there any don'ts or do you believe that... Uh, that it, there is it, definitely don'ts. In past, I have done pan masala and I have done alcohol also in the past, but I stopped doing it. There's more responsibility because there is more responsibility. It's not that. Now. It's just that I got Padma Shri. It's a, it's, a, it's a responsibility that I, that is self-imposed. comes from within. It has nothing to do with the trolls or this or that. No. Social media is a big part of today's world. I wanted to know your opinion. How do you perceive the digital media today? Is it important for an artist to be active on social media, to stay relevant amongst the masses? I would say use it. Don't get used by it. There's a whole lot of world beyond social media and we stopped exploring it. It's a sad situation right now, if you right. ask me. So I think the human connect is very, very important. The Fable movie, right? It yeah. is it is done well internationally. It's, it's I mean, it's just, the, it has, uh, Fable is just gotten ready. And the first thing that it met with is getting selected in competition section at Berlin Film Festival, which is the hugest film festival lovely, of the lovely, world. Lovely. And after 30 years, any Indian film got chosen for the competition at uh, Berlin Film Festival. Kudos to you. And uh, we are with you. And we hope that you make the country proud on that front as well. Manoj, you're an actor par excellence. What's the next big thing on your radar? Is it direction, production, or some other exciting venture that you'd like to talk about? Our uh, company's name is Orega. Right. Which... Uh, is headed by uh, Shabana, with my wife, and my partner Vikram uh, Khakar. We produced a film, co-produced a film called Bhaiya Ji. It's a mainstream film. Right. Uh, Orega is really going to start with uh, Bhaiya Ji uh, with a bang. Then there is Silence 2, which is coming on Z5, which is a very successful franchise. And uh, Family Man, I'm starting uh, from uh, March. Time to move on to our next segment, Everything Digital. While we are assuming that you don't have the time to read what people are saying about you on social media, we've rounded off a few tweets and comments and we'd like you to react to them. So can we? So Rohan is saying, I'm talking about the voice of the Bhagwan after the voice of the Perfect. Let's have a look at the next one. Apps dikhao, sir. Talent to bhot dekh liya. What is that? <laughs> this is actually a comment that has come on your feet. Actually, aapko dousron se bolna chahi. Apps to bhot dekh liya, ab talent dikhao. Talking about apps, let's have a look at the next one. 
देखिए ये अच्छा इस अमेजिंग कि ये नेटफ्लिक्स ने किलर सूप के प्रमोशन का लॉन्च किया था इस मॉफ्ट इमेज के साथ और सबने बिलीव भी कर लिया जबकि उसके कई दिनों से मुझे देख रहे हैं प्रमोशन में जोरम के प्रमोशन में था फिर उसके बाद किलर सूप के प्रमोशन में आया तो देवर देवर एनी वेयर सीइंग मैन दे बिलीव्ड इट बट यू नो अगर मुझे कोई दिखाया गया तो आई कैन इजीली फाइंड आउट दैट इट इज मॉफ्ड ओके द द पीपल हु आर यूजिंग सोशल मीडिया डे इन डे आउट दे कुड नॉट इवन कैच इट कैच इट यस आई थिंक इट्स अ इट्स अ ग्रेट वर्क डन बाय नेटफ्लिक्स पीपल व्हाट डू यू थिंक ऑफ बायोग्राफीज बिफोर आई कम टू आवर नेक्स्ट पार्ट वुड यू लाइक टू डू एनी हिस्टोरिकल्स बायोग्राफीज माइथोलॉजीज यू नो बायोग्राफीज आर बिग बिग रिस्पांसिबिलिटी ओके with this possibility comes the challenge we've used ai which is the new trend and we've created our own versions of let's say biographies which brand manoj bajpai can be a part of right. so we've got them here what okay. we want you to react is on a scale of 1 to 10 1 being the lowest and 10 being the max how excited would you be if something like this comes your way okay. and what could be the research that you'd put in to do this role okay. right so let's have a look at the, the first one oh this is gujar sir <laughs> that's a very good work by your team really i must tell you you should send it to gujar sir <laughs> yeah i would like to play him what a fascinating personality what a knowledgeable man and his understanding of the relationship is something to learn from next one I have never seen his picture actually Dhan okay. Chand's picture so I don't know uh, how he looked but Merging. I would do I would do complete justice to, to it to, to, you know yeah. because a I mean I'm an actor so I would like to perform his character I would like to do a lot of research on him the last but certainly not the least or Bhikkhu versus Shrikant oh my goodness that would be such a mix of uh, two universes coming together <laughs> two 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 very very, very different two, two different and strong characters coming right. together and from different world all together yeah that's i mean shikant chasing biku mahatri will be will make such a great story right manoj it's time for our next game a fun round of guess the price we'll show you a few products and your challenge is pretty simple to guess their prices What it's a that? finger folk finger folk yeah. what do you think would it cost 80 to 100 bucks lovely let's have a look 150 not, not too yeah, bad not, not too, too bad, bad. close yeah. close yeah the next one the perfect oh perfect i drop okay okay 60 bucks slightly higher slightly this is very very high very high okay this is very high buck cleaning slippers i oh, even I would, these kind of products exist uh i'll give 500 600 bucks okay, okay. yeah Yeah. Close again. Yeah, close very again. close. Yeah. Right. Now let's move on to voice it out. The rules are simple. We'll show you a product, and your task is to sell the product as different characters from your own movies. As a family man, uh, a vada pav. Okay. Shrikant is selling a vada pav. Vada pav, बहुत कमाल की चीज़ है. ये देख, ये एक वड़ा है और इसके अंदर पाव है. ये समझा? जे जे के? और इसको अंदर में डाल देते हैं. अभी जो तेरा बर्गर होता है उसमें क्या होता है उसमें बहुत ही बाद प्रोसेस चीज़ें रहती हैं इसमें कुछ नहीं है इसमें ऊपर से बेसन में लपेटा तेल में डाला उसको उबाला और फ्राई किया और इसमें पाव के अंदर उन्हें डाल दिया कितना कैलोरी हो इसमें 400 कैलोरी है एक बर्गर में कितना कैलोरी होता है एक कैलोरी होता है तो सबसे अच्छा क्या हुआ बड़ा पाव अमेजिंग एंड द लास्ट बट सर्टनली नॉट द लीस्ट अ नाइफ विच इज बटर नाइफ एस बीकू मात्रे एकदम मक्खन है ये ऐसे अतरी में जो इधर को मारेगा यहाँ मारेगा अगर तो फक से घुसेगा यहाँ मारेगा तो थोड़ा सा घुमाना पड़ेगा फिर अंदर घुसेगा और यहाँ पे ले करके मुट्ठी के मारेगा भक से घुसेगा तो इतना बढ़िया मक्खन जैसा ये चाकू है उसके अलावा अगर इसको कभी भी कहीं भी नहीं घुसाया तो सुबह छोटा सा मक्खन लेने का और पाव लेने का और मक्खन को ऐसे मक्खन की तरह उठा के पाव पे लगाने का और पाव को खाने का पाव मक्खन जब आदमी को नहीं मारा तो पाव को मारा मक्खन से Amazing. That's why he is the Manoj Bajpai. <laughs> Manoj, we've got a few MBA students from Mumbai with us today on Kiska Brand Bajega, and they've got questions for you. So can we hear them? Hi, I'm Alina from Jamia Millia Islamia, Delhi. Uh, my question was: As your wife Shabana Raza quit acting quite early on in her career, 
and as the recent trend is of power couples being featured in ads do you and your wife also get offers to do such ads no not really not that much but uh, she didn't quit acting after marriage she she quit it for after our baby was born but now she's again coming back and i would always be indebted to her for what she has uh, you know done for me and my daughter power couple it doesn't mean anything believe me we are not going to contribute to the society then it really doesn't mean anything it is it should not be limited to the red carpet only manoj all great things come to an end a big thank you for being on the show your stories your journey everything you shared was pure gold congratulations once again for completing 30 years in the industry here's to continued success and reaching even greater height thank you ladies and gentlemen manoj bajpai thank you thank you and with that we are signing off another blockbuster episode of india's biggest marketing show kiska brand bajega see you next time